Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is my weekend vlog where I try new recipes or I try old recipes with the different ingredients. So basically it is my experiment day. Sometimes it turned out to be perfect and sometimes not so well, which you will see today. So let's get started. So the day started with some groceries and as you can see, all these groceries are from Wegmans. Nowadays, I don't go inside the store, but I do curbside pickup. That means they bring your grocery at your car. As you can see, my last name, first name is there, as well as all those groceries are individual pack. And it is so conveniency. So it's around 3.30 right now. So this is after lunch. Once the lunch is done, I know that I do have few hours to do what I need to do to make sure my week goes smoothly. So the first thing I'm going to do is take care of my masala box because this box gets so messy quickly. So once a week I clean everything properly and I always have the paper napkin underneath. So in case if there is any spillage, no big deal. I can just uh, clean it very easily. So here actually I washed this masala box properly and now I'm going to transfer all this masala back into it. So if I need to refill them, I do it at this point as well as I take care of sugar and chai pati container as well. Weekend is the perfect time for all these things because there is no rush for anything and I get plenty of time to do all this. And yes, I always keep the old napkin underneath especially when I'm transferring haldi otherwise I get stained everywhere. So now masala dabba is ready for the week and on this top plate I always keep the long as well as the whole red chilies. Okay so this is the new recipe I was trying. I want to make sing chiki but wait until the end result because it was horrible. I did everything what I supposed to do but it was nowhere even close to chiki at all. Let me know what went wrong because I did everything what I supposed to do but I think I used the wrong jaggery. That is the only thing that I see in this. But I just want to keep it real on this channel. You know, not every time everything goes perfect. Sometimes it can fail too. So definitely I will try this recipe next time. Also, many of you asked me where I bought this poncho. So actually, you guys thought it's a sweater, but it is a poncho. I bought it long time ago from Ross. And also, many of you asked me how I use this humidifier as well as why I use it. So first of all, the reason I use it, especially during the winter months, is because the air is dry, right? So that's where you get the dry itchy skin as well as the dry coughing. So we have this in kitchen as well as kids room and our room also so you fill this up with the water and you can set the humidity level as well as the you can pick either you want the warm mist or the cool mist now i keep it on the cool mist especially during the winter months and you can also set the timer for that and also you can add some essential oil in here so that way when the mist come out it smells really good also it has the remote control so you can set all the setting from there and i'm gonna link this one down below in the description box i've been using this for many years i would say and it still keep going strong and definitely i would highly recommend this so i'm gonna link it down below in the description box and now it is the dinner time and this is the experiment number two so i made chole bature and puri now chole bhature or chole puri is my all time favorite. I can eat this any time of the day. So this puri I bought it from Indian store. All you had to do is deep fry them and the chole I was making it with this rasoi magic spice mix. 
this is the first time I tried and this experiment number two wasn't that bad as compared to experiment number one. So all you need to do is add the water into the spice mix, add some tomato, chole and that's it. Your chole is ready. That's what the directions say. But then I add all my other uh, ingredients as well as the spices. Now if you do want to see how I make my chole without this rosary magic thing, I'm going to link that video down below in the description box. So first of all, here in the pan, I do have some ghee as well as the oil. Into that, I'm adding some onion. I'm going to let the onion saute for a few minutes and next I'm going to add the tomato. Now we need to let the tomato cook completely. And then I'm going to add some green chilies as well as the garlic. Next, I'm going to transfer that into the blender. Blend everything properly. You don't need to add any water at this point. And now I'm going to add the spices. So, haldi powder, dhania jeera powder, red chili powder, as well as the chole masala. You do want to mix everything properly and let that cook until oil is not separated. And now I'm going to add the rasoi magic spice into this. Mix everything very well, as well as add some water and the chole. Let that boil for I would say about 5 minutes or so and you can garnish that with some cilantro and that's it. The chole is ready. Since this is the first time I was trying this puri, I didn't have the high hope for it. So that's why I kept Badura for backup. As you can see, they are puffing up so nicely and I'm not sure whether I have ever shared this recipe with you all. But if I can find that video, it will be linked down below in the description box. So if you use this recipe, even the next day, your patura will be so soft. So I made about four patura and the rest of them was the puri. Now this puri, I bought it from Indian store last time when I went there. So there is a 15 puri in here. Good thing about this puri is the size. It is a huge. So when I saw it, I was like, it's a perfect, you know, I can make like a restaurant style because at home we don't make this huge puri. As soon as I fry them they puff up so nicely and i was so excited for it i was like perfect i don't have to make patura anymore and i can just keep buying this puri because i can use this puri with the sabji and so many other things but wait until i take them out from the oil as soon as you take them out they deflate and they retain so much oil that was the bummer I was like, man, you know, as you can see, there is a lot of oil in there, but I'm still going to buy one more time to see um, if I get the same result, then I will not buy it. So here our dinner is ready, puri, patura, as well as the chole. Now chole came out good, uh, but the good thing that I add all my spices. So that was our dinner. And now... I'm going to share how I make the yogurt, which I have never shared this recipe with you guys. Uh, I do have my secret ingredients for this to get the perfect yogurt every time. So let's get started with that. So here milk is boiling and I'm using one person milk. So you can use either one person, two person or vitamin D, whatever you have on hand. And to get perfect yogurt all the time, I have two secret ingredients. The first one is the Greek yogurt. The reason I like to use the Greek yogurt is because it doesn't have the water in it. And second most important ingredient for this is the milk powder. Guys, use this combination and I guarantee you that your yogurt will be perfect all the time. So the ratio between both of this is, let's say if you are using one tablespoon yogurt then you want to use the half a tablespoon milk powder and I always use this stillness dill casserole to make my yogurt and once the milk comes to boil you want to turn off the stove and let the milk cool down you want to put the finger in there and once it's like a lukewarm that's when you know it's ready so then I transfer that into this casserole and then add the yogurt and the milk powder mixture into this mix everything very well and then keep it in the warm uh, temperature so in my case since we have uh, our weather over here is so cold right now i usually keep it in the oven i turn the light on and i keep it overnight and the next day result is always perfect 
So I have never shared how I make yogurt at home, but if you make your yogurt using these two ingredients, I guarantee you your yogurt will be perfect all the time as well. So that's it guys, that's the end of the day and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video because it is something different. Uh, as I mentioned, I want to keep it real on this channel. Not every day is same, sometimes the things doesn't go as I planned. But uh, thank you so much for watching, take care and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!